Here I am going to discuss about uh, smoke detectors. Smoke detectors are uh, commonly used uh, fire detectors for the early detection of the fires. Fire detectors allow the presence of the fires to be detected quickly. So why this uh, quick uh, fire detection is required? Because it is a paramount to life safety and also for property conservation. And several types of fire detectors are available in the commercial market and this uh, type of the fire detector need to be selected uh, depending upon the various parameters like uh, fire load and uh, whether a spot type detector is required whether it has to cover a very wide area or uh, a small area and so many other parameters have to be uh, uh, considered while selecting a type of the fire detector and fire detection systems detect the presence of the fire and initiate a warning to the building occupant so it will give an sufficient time for the uh, occupants to evacuate the building in case of any fire in addition to the so many advantages so the fire detectors or fire alarm systems are also having the disadvantages like so it's not it only detects whether the fire is present or not it cannot uh, identify uh, the cause of the fire nor a fire intensity and major disadvantage with fire detectors or fire alarm system is false alarms. A false alarm is a fire alarm signal that is initiated or given by the fire detector or fire alarm system. So the, whenever uh, no fire is present. So and these are mainly due to uh, the improper selection of the detectors or random placement of detectors, poor installation and human errors etc. So during a fire, three major byproducts like thermal energy, radiation, and airborne particles are produced. And the classification of detectors is based on detection of these byproducts like heat is related to the thermal energy, flame detectors are related to the radiation that is emitted while uh, fire, and small detectors are related to the airborne particulates. So the types of detectors uh, are smoke detectors, flame detectors, heat detectors, linear heat sensing cables are also used. And in this video I am discussing about uh, various types of smoke detectors like spot type ionization type detector, spot type photoelectric detector, linear beam type photoelectric detector, multi sensor detector which is a combination of smoke and heat and aspirating type uh, smoke detector. The smoke detectors respond both for both visible and invisible particles. These visible uh, products mainly uh, consist of unconsumed carbon and carbon rich particles in the range of 0 0.01 to 10 micrometers. And these inbird particles whose size is less than 5 micrometers are not visible to human eye and these are considered as invisible uh, particles. Smoke detectors are designed to provide an early warning for a fire, so that is expected to progress through distant incipient and uh, smoldering stages. So we have already discussed various stages of uh, fire in the part 1. So the incipient stage is the stage where invisible uh, gases are evolved and uh, smoldering stage is the way it, uh, smoke uh, that is visible uh, e part is absorbed, sorry visible part is uh, absorbed. Typically the greatest volume of invisible gases and visible smoke are produced during this incipient stage and this smoldering stage and the smoke detectors are best suited uh, for these uh, stages. In different uh, types of uh, smoke uh, detector uh, sensing technologies, ionization, photoelectric, multi-criteria that is heat plus uh, smoke and aspirating type and beam type detectors. So in this first uh, type is ionization detector. So the ionization detector is uh, reacts both uh, to visible and invisible products of the combustion. So this uh, ionization type detectors will consist contains a small uh, radiation source. So that uh, produces electrically charged air molecules called ions. Means this ionization detector contains the radiation source that is magnesium two forty one, which emits alpha uh, particles. And these alpha particles will ionize the air and produce the ions and the electrons. And these ions are uh, measured uh, by the electrode uh, that is uh, proportional to the ion current. The use of long half-life radioactive source, this is emulsion 241 that is commonly used. So it is coupled with low energy consumption, gives the ionization detector long life expectancy with minimal maintenance. Ionization type detectors are better to flaming fire or fast moving fires. So this uh, we have discussed the emulsion 241 which emits that is placed between the two electrically charged plates that is positive and uh, negative uh, which are also known as cathode and anode. So I just the air between these two uh, plates because of uh, the alpha particle that is emitted by this emulsion 241 
and uh, this ionized air which contains uh, ions and the electrons uh, will create uh, uh, the current which is measured by the electronic uh, circuitry under normal condition so these uh, ion current uh, is produced so whenever the particles of combustion uh, are present uh, in the detector so the ion current is reduced and the electronic circuitry will uh, uh, identifies this detection in the ion current and gives an alarm so this is how you can see this animation so the normal condition so whenever the smoke enters so this detects uh, uh, this decrease in the ion current and it gives an alarm condition so photoelectric detectors there are two types of photoelectric detectors beam type and the light uh, scattering type both of which consists of a light source a lens and photosensitive cell means is the detector part so in a photo beam type uh, photoelectric detector so a light beam is directed at a photo cell so there is a source and uh, uh, the uh, sensor are opposite so under normal conditions so this uh, sensor will uh, detect maximum light whenever these uh, small particles enters the detector area so the sensor will see um, the less light and uh, this is sensitized by the electronic circuit and gives an alarm in the light scattering photoelectric type detector so this uh, detector and uh, sorry the sensor and the uh, transmitter that the emitter so are placed in perpendicular direction so under normal conditions so the sensor will not see any light so and whenever the light enters or sorry, whenever the smoke enters the detector so the light is scattered and uh, the sensor will see the light and it will give an indication so this is uh, the scatter type uh, photoelectric detector so this is a sensor is placed in perpendicular so when the normal condition the sensor sees uh, no light so whenever the particle enters the detector so the light scattered and uh, the light will pass on to the uh, sensor and the sensor will uh, um, give an alarm condition so this is how this the photoelectric type small detector works whenever the smoke enters the light that is received by the sensor is reduced and it uh, this uh, gives an alarm condition so linear beam type smoke detectors this is earlier uh, photoelectric detector uh, so is of a spot type and linear beam uh, smoke detector also uh, works on the same principle as a photoelectric type uh, smoke detector which uh, consists of a light source that is directed on to a photosensitive receiver that is sensor the difference is that this type of detector consists of two separate units so here uh, the transmitter or light source is a different one and also the receiver is also a different one so both are uh, these units are located in the different uh, um, uh, areas and these uh, linear beam type smoke detectors are uh, applic uh, used when large area need to be covered so this type of smoke detectors have many applications such as airport terminals with very high ceilings, aircraft hangars, churches, large open facilities like basketball courts, warehouses, movie theaters, which need to cover very large areas. If you want to use, if you want to use uh, spot type detectors in these type of applications, which covers a uh, um, number of which in requires a large number of detectors to be installed. To overcome that problem, so the linear beam type smoke detectors are uh, installed in these uh, applications that re require that requires uh, large area need to be covered. So this is uh, the typical transmitter and receiver of this linear beam type uh, photoelectric detector, so which covers very wide area. Combination type that is smoke plus heat is also known as multi sensor detector. So the disadvantage which with the ionization detector which we have already discussed is it consists of a radioactive source and uh, disposing of this uh, ionization, ionization type detector is uh, one of the major uh, task or problem um, in many countries. So the uh, best alternative to ionization type smoke detector is uh, multi sensor detector or combination type detector. So the ionization type detector is uh, so best suitable for uh, flaming fires. Here this combination type detector in addition to uh, smoke uh, 
its director it is also having the sensor that uh, identifies uh, the or uh, measures the heat so photoelectric type uh, for uh, smoke type uh, smoke and the thermistor is there for heat sensing so this type of uh, multi sensor detector is suitable for both flaming fires as the as of ionizing type of smoke detector and it is also uh, best suitable for uh, smoldering fires means which gives a visible smoke aspirating type uh, smoke detector so this type of smoke detector uh, is used in applications where rapid uh, measurement of smoke need to be identified in normal smoke detector the smoke detector is placed at the uh, ceiling so whenever uh, any fire occurs it will take some time uh, the uh, particles to reach from the source uh, to the detector so when the applications that will not accept this much of the time delay will go for aspirating type smoke detector which consists of an um, sampling pipe which aspirates uh, uh, the air that containing the smoke detector and there is a filter that filters the large particles which may damage the high sensitivity sensor and they are passed on to this uh, sensor and then it is uh, goes to the exhaust this this is a forced type of uh, uh, smoke detector which uh, takes uh, the air sample from the uh, from the area where uh, the fire protection need to be provided thank you for watching my video